What's going on everybody, it's Eric Ray with the back here helping you take your game to the next level and in today's video I have a game changing tip for you guys in Madden 18. Now if this is your first time checking out one of my videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Make sure to hit the bell icon so that you join the notification squad and never miss an upload. So for today's guys, I have a game changing tip for you. Um, This is something that has caught fire in the tournament community. All of the top players are doing this. Um, so this is kind of like a common knowledge thing for the guys that are at the top or if you've been watching tournaments You've probably seen this tactic used, but you weren't really sure why the tournament players are doing this um, This is gonna start catching on I expect to see a lot of people posting this some people may have already posted it But I'm gonna bring it to you guys too and break it down for you So I want to demonstrate something for you here So we're gonna go against the you know the cover four defense that is so good uh, We have Chris Harris jr. Over here now most of you know by now if not Anybody in a, that has like a 91 plus zone rating, those are the guys that jump a lot of routes. That's why Chris Harris is the best cornerback in the game because he's the only cornerback, I believe, that has a 91 plus route running or excuse me, a zone coverage. And when you have deep blues in zone coverage, uh, I mean, 91 zone coverage guys in deep blues. So cover four, we have all of our defensive backs in deep blues. If they have a 91 zone coverage, they jump pretty much everything they jump corner routes very good they jump post routes like if you have Earl Thomas with the Seahawks he jumps like everything over the middle because he has that 91 zone coverage and he has good play recognition so we're gonna set this play up like this we're just gonna create a you know a typical flood concept a typical uh, streak corner and flat combo and watch how Chris Harris plays this he's the best cornerback in the game we try to get the ball to AJ Green and you see that he jumps it for an interception and that's not a fluke that happens Pretty much every time, you know, every once in a while you might complete it, but it's not going to be a good throw. We'll, we'll throw it again. and it, it, it consistently stops us. And if you played enough, you know that this is, you know, how the game reacts there. That was just a bad, bad throw by Dalton. But you saw that Chris Harris again was on A.J. Green's neck. And A.J. Green is one of the best wide receivers in the game. He has good route running. Uh, he's just a very overall good wide receiver. But Chris Harris Jr. is going to be on his neck every time you see that. So here is what the tournament players are doing i don't know who came up with this i don't know who started it first but it has caught fire and you've probably seen people doing this and you're like why on earth are they doing this so instead of aj green i'm gonna go ahead and put joe mixon in if you've watched any of the tournaments you've seen um you've seen guys putting uh running backs at wide receiver you've seen that it, it's something that a lot of guys are doing now uh the first person i saw it do personally was shift god cole in the first term of the year, he had uh, Tevin Coleman at wide receiver. But we've seen a lot of other people start to adapt this. So here again, you see cover four, same defense. It's still Chris Harris over here. We have Joe Mixon in the slot on the corner route. Now, Joe Mixon is not a good route runner. He's not a receiver. He's a running back. So I think his route running is like in the 60s. Watch what happens on his corner route. Chris Harris is nowhere near it. And, of course, you have the possession catch it to make sure you get your feet in bounds. Chris Harris is nowhere near him. He was on A.J. Green's neck every time. He was jumping it for a pick. If it wasn't a pick, he was on his neck. But look how much further back he is here. He's, he's a good three and a half, four yards behind Joe Mixon. And he did tap his feet in bounds. He got him down. Because uh, sometimes it looks like they're not in bounds. But trust me, if you if you hold that possession catch, you're going to get down in bounds usually. So let's do it again because you could say, well, that may be a fluke. Let's We'll run it again. We'll run it a bunch of times. And you'll see. Because his route, so that was just a bad, bad throw by Dalton. But you see, Chris Harris was still two to three yards behind him. He wasn't close enough to make a play. The reason this works... And, it, you know, it's crazy because it, it shouldn't be the case, of course. But because his route running is so bad, Chris Harris is not even reacting to it. Like, his route running so bad that it, it I don't know why it works this way, but it, it, like, almost forces Chris Harris to almost just not even worry about him. He's like, well, I don't have to break on the ball. Dalton's terrible. But you see, again, Chris Harris is at, is at best two yards behind him every time. He's a couple steps too late. And in Madden and football in general, it's a game of inches. If you're a step or two behind, you're a step or two too slow. He's nowhere near him. And that's because, it's because of his bad route running. So this is why tournament players, this is why maybe you've seen some players online start to mimic this. This is why people are putting running backs at wide receiver now because the fact that their route running is so bad, it allows them to get open on these monster zone coverage guys. And it's not just corner routes. It's the same if you put him on a post route over the middle of the field. Earl Thomas will jump a post route if you got Julio Jones there, if you got Odell Beckham there. Even if you got someone with like 75 route running, it's not a great route running, but it's good enough. 
Earl Thomas will jump it, but if you put a running back there that has like in the 60s route running, he won't jump it. He'll be a few steps behind every time. It's weird. Uh, it's definitely a game-changing tip because you're going to start seeing a lot more people putting running backs at wide receiver. Um, it, like I said, it's already caught fire in the tournament community, and it, it's going to just keep spreading at this point. So, you know, rather than leave you guys out of the loop, I'd rather let you know what's going on. That's what I'm here to do, break down tips, and also tell you what the best players are running, and this is why they're doing it. So if you're having trouble getting those corner routes open, getting post routes open, getting really any route open that is being jumped by the DBs, Put a running back there, and I guarantee you most of those routes he's going to get open every time. So it is crazy. It, it shouldn't really be the case. It, it may be something that winds up getting patched. Uh, we don't know. But for now, it's definitely the hottest thing at the moment. It's the hot tactic that everybody's starting to adapt. So um, just letting you guys in on it. So if you see people doing it to you, now you know why. And, uh, you know, start doing it yourself if, uh, if you want to take advantage of that. So... As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, just drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.